Yeah, a total of 20 artists out here today working on pieces just like this beautiful one behind me here. All completely different messages and inspirations, but still coming together to add to the already rich flavor of the Garland District. The Garland District is so rich in in food and art anyway that I think that it just really encompasses what this neighborhood is about. Artists who specialize in spray painting, brush painting, and even graphic design, all displaying their talents for the public to enjoy. And there's no common theme, just many different ideas creating a lively and imaginative walkway. I whitewashed the wall uh, so I'd have a clean slate to work on. And I've got my sketch here and I'm just kind of working away at it. This piece brings a simple message from artist Jamie Burton. I'm just going to share the message of be kind and kindness and put a little joy out into the world. But it's been a full day of hard work. Art is, um, in a way, it's ego-driven, but it's also selfless because we're giving something for free to people. For Daniel Lopez, this piece represents an awakening, a sharp camera flash in a room of darkness that reveals a lion behind a cage. Before I put that first, you know, that first mark, I kind of already can see it. And for some, the festival was a chance to be more creative. I took a picture of of a makeup that I did and I created her into a mural. Rachel Lentz works with horror art. It's so incredible that I get to be a part of the community and a part of this. I mean, all of these artists, there's 20 people here today and it's so cool to see everybody come together and support each other and share supplies. And I, I just think it's, I, I can't wait to walk through once we're all said and done and see the beauty that everybody has created. For all the artists, this festival was a chance to contribute something to the neighborhood for all to enjoy. Shayna Walltower, Crime 2 News.